Yeah, welcome once again, class, for yet another interesting uh, lecture on GST 101, Communication in English. Uh, we shall be looking at study 8, which is Mechanics of Writing. My name is Philip Daniel Molly. Yes, by way of introduction, writing involves several ingredients, among which is mechanics of writing. The term mechanics can be said to be the method of constructing a piece of written work. It entails the arts of writing or the science of putting words together, resulting to appropriateness of meaning out of the piece. Mechanics subsumes the following terms punctuations, spelling, and capitalization, respectively. This means that the graphic markers, the spelling differences, and the capitalization technique we see are not supposed to be regarded as mere decorations, but rather they influence our intended meaning and in the writing. In writing, however, correct punctuation, spelling, and capitalization are primarily essential to effective communication of our ideas. Thus, misuse or carelessness in the use of the said mechanics badly affect the meaning of the written work. By the end of this study session, you should be able to under the learning outcomes, use punctuation marks properly, develop good spelling skills of English, and observe proper use of capitalization in your writings. We shall start by looking at punctuation marks. Punctuation mark is the mark used in writing that divide sentences and phrases within a written text to enhance its meaning, fluency, or to indicate aspects of pronunciation. It is used in the art of writing for specificity and easy understanding. Good writing is a demonstration of sophisticated use of punctuation, and therefore, certain sentences vary in meaning when punctuated and or otherwise. Consider the following sentences. The VC says student should be expelled from the university. Number two, the VC says the student should be expelled from the university. In the above illustration, the first sentence means that the student says the VC should be expelled from the university, which looks absurd. But in the second sentence. It is telling us that the VC says the student should be expelled from the university. And you are able to know this just by the use of punctuation. <clears throat> Types of punctuation based on their respective operational functions. Punctuation marks are usually discussed under the following. A. Terminal or end punctuation marks, and B, medial punctuation marks. Terminal or end punctuation marks. Terminal punctuation marks, otherwise known as end punctuations, are three in number. As the name implies, terminal or end, they usually occur at the end of sentences in every written text. These are full stop, also known as period, question mark, and exclamation mark. The said terminal punctuation do not occur together. They are mutually exclusive of one another. When one is used, therefore, none among them can be used at the end, but at the same time, at the end of the sentence. Full stop. 
This is one of the principal punctuation marks, which is also known as the period. It is used in the following ways. A, to mark the completion or end of a declarative sentence. E, she was asked to marry him. B, for standard abbreviation and or initials. For example, the, United, the USA, B A M A W H O U N O. It is used also in decimal fractions. For example, 5.5 meters, 6.8 miles, 2.2 liters, and so on and so forth. D. It is used at the end of an indirect question. For example, my dad asks me if I can marry him. Number two, the question mark. This is another principal punctuation mark, which is also known as interrogation mark and is used or placed at the end of a direct question or interrogative sentence. For example, have you ever been photographed? Are you single? Will you marry me? These are question marks. Number three, the exclamation marks. This is also a principal punctuation mark which is used at the end of an exclamatory sentence and interjections, expressing some sudden emotion as indicated in speech by a rise in the pitch of the voice. In other words, it occurs at the end of a word, phrase or sentence called out with strong feelings of some kind. For example, what a beauty, get lost, oh, this is delicious. Wow, you look incredibly gorgeous, my dear. Hip, 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 hooray. Stop touching me. This is increasingly good. We are already done with the end punctuation marks. Now, I want to look at medial punctuation marks. These are punctuation that do not occur at the end of a sentence, but at the middle or within the sentence or text most often. They include one, the comma. This is used to mark the shortest pause. For example, it is used to separate words of the same part of speech, e.g. I saw Paul Payam, Sharon, Samuel, and Victor. Moles is handsome, intelligent, rich, and assiduous. B. It is used before coordinating conjunctions, joining independent clauses. For example, we were on our way when she set the house on fire. C. To mark off phrases in opposition. For example, good luck, Jonathan, the president, is silent. D. After an introductory adverb, preposition phrase or clause, beautifully, a wild dress. At the party, the student got massacred. Number two, the column. The column marks a more complete pause than a semicolon. It is used to introduce a quotation. For example, King David says, do not run away from challenges, chase them. B, to introduce a list. For example, the courses I like are phonology, morphology, and syntax. C. To introduce an explanation, a statement, or a proposition. For example, the purpose for my rudeness is this. 
I dislike unnecessary argument. Three, the semicolon. This is used to mark a longer pause than a comma. It is used between independent clauses not joined by coordinating conjunction. For example, we got married. We were madly in love. To separate sentences which are connected closely in thought. Is he loves me? I will for her. As she was violent, I honor her. Number four, the quotation marks, also known as the invited marks. These are used to indicate a direct quote. For example, Kezia said, if you do not live for anything, die for something. B, to enclose unfamiliar, strange or foreign ways. For example, the Indian man called me angel. C, it is used to enclose titles of poems, articles and short stories. For example, to buy the last season of propaganda. Stephen David's psychological study of GST 101 students of choices. Five, the apostrophe. This is used in the following ways. To indicate possession, that is ownership. For example, Mrs. Kanchana's office, Philip Daniel's book. B, it is used in the contraction of words that is constructed forms of words. For example, I will be there. Aren't you attending? Are you not attending? Five, six, the carrot. This is used where there has been a non-deliberate omission of letters, words, or expressions when writing to bring back the missing items into the expression. The punctuation is used. For example, the game over is, is the missing words here. Number seven, the ellipsis. This punctuation mark is usually a three space period struck full stop dots, which is used to indicate a deliberate omission or deletion of items. The said items could be a word, phrase, or a clause in a text. When the dots appear to be four, that means the fourth one is a period, full stop. E.g., I enclose my eyes when a friend's wife entered his sitting room unknowing of my presence. She was half. Da -da -da. So, she screamed and ran, leaving my house akimbo, and my friend's mouth agape while the door was ajar. The hyphen, that's number eight. This punctuation is used in the following ways. The form, to form compound words or link two words together, thereby suggesting a single meaning. For example, double cross. B, to divide a word into two at line and communication. Fatherless, you could say the hyphen and you'll be able to divide your word like that. Number nine, this is used to enclose an information words, phrases, or sentence consider to be only supplementary or explanatory in nature and could be removed without changing the basic meaning or grammatical completeness of the statement. For example, I attended GST, use of English class, and it was good. You see, in bracket, use of English class. <clears throat>
Number 10, the dash. This is used in the following ways. A, to introduce a short break in the continuity of a sentence. For example, they said goodbye, dash forever and ever. B, to introduce a statement that amplifies or explains what has been said. For example, the burglars took everything of value, dash. The jewelry, TV, set, and money. Number three, to introduce an afterthought. For example, you can come with me, dash, but you might not want to. Number 11, the slash. This is used in the following ways. One, to separate options and alternate words. Male slash female. Pass slash fail. B, to separate lines of poetry added in one text. Allow me to drink your tears, my beloved, for only that, that would make me live forever. So, if it is a poem, every line is separated by a slash. Spelling. This is another area in the mechanics of writing. Spelling errors affect the general use of grammar and often resort to confusion and nonsensical sentences. Spelling errors when writing, no doubt, make a mismatch resulting to uninteresting reading. Moreover, misspelled words when writing, especially during lectures and while jotting down some things, students get misled by their own writing. When studying the jotted materials, the exact message would be zigzagging since they did not get the correct spell. Find some of the words that may pose spelling problems when not carefully studied by students. No, no, right, 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 west, west, break, break, plane, plane, side, 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 meet, meet, allowed, allowed, check, check, hold, hold, new, new, van, van, weather, Weather, comma, comma, sees, sees, marshal, marshal. You'll notice that even though these words sound the same, they are different in meaning. So we need to note that words which are identical or similar with other words in sound and and pronunciation, but of different origin, spelling, and meaning, are known as homophones. Capitalization. This is another important mechanics of writing, whose absence can mirror the writer intended message. There are some common rules that guide the way we capitalize or use capital letters. Thus, A, at the beginning of a sentence, for example, the boy is stylish. B, for proper nouns or names of people, places, river, mountains, Payam, Manga, Maloney, River Niger. It is for names of days, month, festivals, and historical eras. For example, Friday, January, New Year Festival, Independence Day. D, for titles of people and names of things when we refer to unique examples. For example, the governor of Nasarawa, Gomama, President of Nigeria. 
E for nations, continents, and adjectives indicating nationalities. Nigeria, Nigerian, Ghana, Ghanaian, India, Indian, etc. For names, titles of books, plays, works of art, magazine, newspaper, e.g. contemporary English, things fall apart, daily times. G. For words related to holy scriptures, Allah, Prophet, Almighty God, Quran, Bible, etc. In conclusion, in study session X, you have learned that there are only three terminal punctuation marks and about 11 medial punctuation marks discussed in this study session. Punctuation marks have different uses of which their uses and misuses can make or mar your writing respectively. Spelling errors affect the general use of grammar and often result in confusion and nonsensical sentences. Capitalization has uses of its own in our writing as discussed above. Thank you for good listening.